Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about escrow.com and more specifically, I'm going to answer a question that I've been getting a lot lately. And that is how do you start a new transaction on escrow.com? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, it's going to be a really quick video. There's really not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to start a new transaction on escrow.com? Well, that's pretty easy. Maybe you're buying something and you guys decided to use escrow.com as the payment method, whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's all handled here in their website, escrow.com. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well. Also, this is assuming that you've already registered and have set up an account with escrow.com. If you haven't and you need some help with that, go back and watch my other video that describes that in detail. But in order to start a new transaction on escrow.com, you want to click here on the top left. Once you're here on the top left, just scroll all the way down and click on this login button. Here you can go ahead and use your email and password to log into your escrow.com account. I'm going to enter mine in off screen. Okay. Okay, so here is going to be the list. This is actually the home screen. It shows all the transactions that you had on escrow.com recently. However, in order to initiate a new transaction on escrow.com, click on this hamburger menu here on the top left. Once you click there, you're going to get a drop down menu. And in order to start a new transaction, look for this button right here called start a new transaction. Okay, so here escrow.com is going to ask you a few questions about your particular transaction. Here you can name the transaction something that's easy for you to remember. Usually if I'm buying a website, website or some sort of a YouTube channel or something like that. I'll put that here. So it's easy for me to reference in the future. Next, you want to choose if you are the buyer or seller, you can choose the currency and that way it makes it much easier for you to understand the transaction inspection period. This is once you receive the website or car or YouTube channel or whatever it is that you're buying. Once you receive it in your possession, you get this many days to inspect the items. So this is negotiable. This is something you have to discuss with the seller or buyer, the other party in the transaction. Usually for me, I usually put 10 days just because that seems kind of normal. A lot of times people request seven days. Next, you want to go ahead and fill this out. This is specific to the item that you are purchasing. So for me, I'm buying a website. So I'm going to use the name of the website, the price that I'm going to be paying, and also a description of the items. So if you're buying a car and it comes with something extra, like extra rims or something like that, be sure to put all of that in there. That way it's easy to reference during the transaction and then item type, motor vehicle, general merchandise, or domain name. So for me, it's a domain and then item category. I'm going to put website. So I'm going to fill all this information out off screen. Okay guys. So I went ahead and entered in all the required information information. I'm going to click on this green add item button now. Okay. So next it's going to give you a brief of the transaction that we just entered in. You can also add another app item. So for example, if you're buying two cars, you'll put the first car in the information we just filled out and then enter the second car here or two websites or two YouTube channels or whatever it is that you're buying. Next here, you want to go ahead and see the price that I entered. So I'm buying this for $1,200. The escrow fee is what escrow.com charges when you start a new transaction for this particular deal. They're charging me $39. However, you can change who pays for this fee by clicking on that green button and you can choose either buyer or seller. For me, it's more normal. It's split 50 50. So I'm going to pay 19 50 and then the seller is going to pay $19 and 50 cents. Also next, you want to go ahead and put the other party's information here. And that way they can be invited to this new transaction that you started with escrow.com. And you just want to put in their email or their phone number or both. So I'm going to put the seller's phone number in off screen now. Okay. So I went ahead and entered in all of the required information. Once I click on this green start transaction button on escrow.com. This person will receive an email or a text message, depending on what you used for their contact details. And it's going to invite them to agree to this particular transaction. So be sure to look through it. And if it all looks good, go ahead and click on this green start transaction button. Okay. Now my transaction has been created. As you can see, it's written up here and they're just waiting for both parties to agree. So I've already agreed. Now I need to wait for the seller to agree. And once they agree to that through their email or this QR code or message or however you contact them, then escrow.com is going to request the payment from me, the buyer. But until both parties agree to the transaction, it's just kind of in a pending state. And you can actually click on this green button and view all of your transactions, including the pending ones. Let me click there. Okay. So once you click there, it's going to give you a rundown of this particular transaction. So it goes over the price, the escrow fee, who the seller is. And they also let you know the seller has to sign and review to agree to this term listed inside of this particular escrow. So there you have it, guys. If you're looking for information on how to start a new transaction, transaction on escrow.com. That's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.